Hey guys, it's Chenu again at InnoKinetic here to talk to you about wheel selection. Wheels are one of those things that we all absolutely adore on our sports cars and, and, and we wanted to shoot a little video to talk about what we you know, think about when it comes to selecting wheels. You know, generally, there's three things you know, that, that uh, we believe you need to consider, right? There's the styling, of course, there's cost, and then there's performance, right? So we're gonna to touch on all three of those areas and why, well, you know, over the years I've become a bit of a wheel expert, having bought wheels for pretty much every car I've owned, you know, because I've never been all that happy with the stock wheels. But though I feel like I've become a bit of a wheel expert, maybe not quite the same as my good friend Jack, who we uh, lovingly refer to as the Imelda Marcos of wheels. and. I'm probably aging myself, but a few of you guys will catch that reference. Anyhow, Jack has bought probably every single wheel we've ever offered for his Lotuses and is an absolute expert when it comes to wheels on cars. But let me see if I can um, pass on some of my knowledge and things that I've learned over the years um, with my own cars and with us selling wheels for various you know cars. Um, in this video, I hope really you can start to get a better feel for what are those critical things that you need to consider. So let's start with styling. Okay, styling is one of those things um, and the look of a wheel, which I think is absolutely critical to how excited you are every time you look at your car, right? I know the first time I realized that it was in the early 90s, I had a 93 325i with stock wheels on it and then I bought some 17 inch M3 forged wheels that were wicked. It completely transformed the look of the car. Man, I couldn't believe it. It went from this plain Jane, vanilla looking four door sedan to this aggressive sports sedan. Um, it really, it was the first time when I really felt that changing up a wheel, even on a nicer car, can have a dramatic impact on the styling. And so that's why I feel like styling is one of those reasons why a lot of people will change the wheels on their car. Um, and I think manufacturers have recognized that. And you can see from the factory, they're fitting bigger and bigger wheels. And part of that is because of designers that want bigger wheels. Um, I would say most engineers want smaller wheels so they can have a bit more rubber for a bit more compliance. But from a pure styling perspective, the larger wheels tend to be the ones that get all the likes. So anyhow, one interesting kind of fun fact that I thought I would kind of bring to you, my fine viewer, is the fact that the styling of a wheel can actually also visually trick you into thinking that it is in fact a bigger wheel than it is. So here is the trick that, that I came to see and then frankly used when we designed our Stella Corsa wheel. What we did, if you look very carefully at the spoke of a wheel, if that spoke goes all the way to the very, very edge of the wheel, the wheel appears to be much bigger. If the spoke in, instead turns before it gets to the edge and, and goes towards the hub, the wheel looks smaller. You can see actually Lotus used the same trick on the sport forged wheels they took the spoke all the way to the lip and it made a big difference. And so even in our own wheel selection, if you look at our ethos wheels or our monolite wheels, those wheels, the spokes go to the hub. But with the Stellas, they go all the way to the edge and some of the Stellas look like they're a bigger wheel. So anyhow, interesting little thing that um, you may or may not be aware of with styling when it comes to wheels. Anyhow, styling you know, certainly plays a big, big role. I do believe it's one of the, the the most important reasons why many people buy wheels for their cars. But then the second thing, which I would say is also critically important, is cost. So we all have different budgets, and based on what your budget allows is going to help kind of narrow your choices. You, know, you can go to places like TireRack.com and see a plethora of wheel choices for your specific vehicle. In particular, if you have a vehicle that's a bit more mainstream. If you have one of these obscure niche kind of cars like a Lotus or an Atom, you, you may not be so lucky to find too many choices there. But for most people, you, if you go to a place like that, you'll have the ability to look at a lot of different styles at quite a few different price points. Okay, So the area, and really the final area that I think I really, really wanted to spend some time talking about, and that is 
the performance you know uh, criteria that um, you should consider when selecting a wheel. Um, you know, when it comes to performance um, of any sports car, the wheel is really critical. It is holding the tire. The tire is what actually um, holds the car to the ground, right? It's what's delivering feedback to you as a driver. It's what's keeping the car on the road, right? So the wheel that you put this tire around becomes very, very important. So what are the aspects of performance that we want to really uh, touch on today and that I think is, is most important? Those would be things like fitment, the weight, construction, or in other words, how, how they you know, are made, and then kind of as I touched on, tire selection. You know, oftentimes, if you have a broad selection of, of wheel choices, say, for example, you've got a BMW or a Honda Civic, um, there's lots of different options, I think, out there in wheel options. And oftentimes, people will select a tire and then go from there to make their performance you know, decisions. So tire selection is going to get its own video. We've actually got a couple of uh, good blogs on our website. We'll link it down below in this video that you should, you should read if you want to learn a bit more about tire selection because tire selection really, really plays a critical role in how a car feels and performs. So you want to make sure you start with that and make sure the wheels that you select fit on the tires that you've chosen. Okay, so we're not going to dwell too much on tire selection here in this particular video, but it is a critical part of the performance um, criteria that you have to keep in mind when you select a tire, right? So let's talk about things that uh, I just had mentioned. Fitment, okay? Fitment. What, what's involved in fitment? Fitment is typically the size of the wheel, right? So the diameter, the width, um, is the, uh, the, the PCD, okay? So that's, you know, essentially the bolt spacing on the wheels that's required from the factory. Um, also the offset. How far is the center line of the wheel offset? So is it a positive offset? Is it a negative offset? But essentially, where is it in relation to the center line of that particular wheel? So offset's very, very important as well. Um, and then finally, do you have a hub-centric wheel or not? Will it fit on your hub or your um, snout without any additional um, spacers or devices to hold it in place? Right. Our contention is find a wheel that is hub centric so you don't need to worry about centering rings. But in some cases, that's what you're going to have to do. And in fact, you'll find a lot of applications out there for broader markets typically are met by using hub centric centering rings. Okay, so PCD, obviously, you don't have too many options there. You know, the PCD is pretty much set by the, the manufacturer of the car. So you have to go with that. In the case of, say, a Lotus, you're looking at a 4 by 100 um, PCD. So you need to choose wheels that have that particular fitment. Um, what else? Diameter and width. So again, very critical, you know, and that flows from the tires that you select and what is typically recommended from the factory, okay? So as an example, um, in the case of Lotuses, there is the from the factory they have 16 inch wheels at the front and 17 inch wheels in the rear okay um, the widths were different based on whether you had a standard package um, suspension car or a sport package car okay we introduced wheels that were actually half inch wider than even the sport package and then we went with slightly more aggressive offsets as well okay so the fitment can really play a, a, a critical role in how the, the, the car looks, but also in how it performs. So it's, it's funny, we, we, we talk about fitment in the performance category. Truth of the matter is, things like um, certain fitment aspects, whether it's the offset or how flush the wheel might be to the outer surface of the car, or the diameter of the wheel certainly has an impact also on styling or the aesthetics and looks of, of, the, of this selection. So, Okay, we talked about fitment. Now let's talk about weight. Okay, weight is very, very important. Okay, we always suggest find a wheel that is as light, if not lighter than the stock wheel. Okay, what I always tell people is, would you like to run a marathon with running shoes or with army boots? And I think most people would rather run that marathon with lighter running shoes, right? So the same thing applies essentially with Cars, you want lighter wheels. Um, that will 
allow the car to perform better. And in fact, we have seen Lotuses come into the shop with heavier than stock wheels and the ride quality was horrible. I mean, abysmal ride quality. You could literally feel how heavy those wheels were through the ride quality, certainly in the steering feel as well. So we always say find lighter wheels and you will, you will improve every performance aspect, whether it's acceleration, braking, or handling. So anyhow, weight, very, very important um, aspect that, that you absolutely should consider before selecting a wheel. Okay, construction. How is this wheel produced? There are generally three different types of wheel constructions. There's cast, where you're taking molten you know, metal and pouring it into a, a, a mold. There's low pressure um, cast or flow forming, where they actually pour in the molten you know, metal and then they compress the mold to um, allow the metal to, to get a bit more dense. Um, and then finally, there's forged wheels, which basically start with billet of, of metal that has been forged or compressed and then machined out, okay? So when it comes to weight and strength, um, cast, low pressure um, cast and forged literally goes in that order, forged being the lightest and strongest, okay? But it's also the most expensive. You know, of these three categories, the low pressure cast wheel is really the best overall value. You get a very reasonably light wheel, um, you get a nice strong wheel, and you get a very cost-effective wheel to produce. So you'll find that some of the best values on the market um, tend to be low pressure cast wheels that also deliver very good performance. You know, the, the factory standard wheel on a Lotus is cast. The sport package cars have forged wheels. If you look at, again, as an example, our Ethos wheels, those are a low pressure cast wheel. So flow form type of wheel. And as you can see from a price point, very, very good value. So those are the three types of constructions to consider. Um, if you can go with forged wheels, they are certainly the overall best as far as strength and lightweight. Um, but they do cost a, a pretty penny, okay? So really, those are the key things that we would encourage you to consider when you're trying to make a wheel selection for your car. You know, again, I would always say and encourage you, think about um, improving the performance of the car through the wheels. If you're going to spend the money, think about the styling, of course, but also consider the performance enhancement that you can gain from putting in the right selection of wheels. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.